Today we're going to change the PC board on an AW210. For that, we're going to need a couple tools. We're going to need crimps, wire strippers, along with a crimper, wire cutters, a screwdriver, zip ties, and a drill so we can unplug the unit out. To start, we're going to have to remove the back panel. To do that, we're going to remove the screws in the bottom portion of the unit. Clip the zip tie, unravel the wires. Now we're going to disconnect the wires that are connected to the board one at a time so we know where they belong. We got a fan wire. The internal fan. And the display. Next one is going to be the power. Now that we got all the wires disconnected, now we can cut the cooling kit wires. Make sure to leave enough slack to be able to connect the new board with the old cooling kit. Now we can unscrew the old board to replace it with the new one. To remove the board, we have to remove four screws that hold it in place. Make sure you hold the board so it doesn't fall off. Now that we got the new board, we're going to install it into the original spot. The wires will come connected when the board is ordered. You always want to install the board with the clips on the same side as the wires. Now that the board is installed, we can connect the proper wires to their spots. So first we're going to install external fan cable, bottom right hand corner. The internal fan with the red clip. The light with the display board. We will not be installing the power cord just yet, just to be safe. As you can see, this is one of the newer models, so it will not have an NTC-1 cable. Now that the wires are connected, we can then splice the cooling kit cables with the new board cables. First, we're gonna need the wire strippers to expose the internal wires from the casing. We're going to use the 18 gauge We're going to do it on the board as well. Now we're going to twist the wires to make sure they make a proper connection with the crimp. Once the wire is properly twisted, we'll install one of the crimps on one side. Grab the crimp. and seal the wire shut. Make sure it doesn't come out. Now we'll twist the wire on the, on the board wire on and install it. Same process, we'll crimp. Get 
give it a nice tug. You're set. Now we will be doing the same thing to the red wire. And crimp. Once again, you want to make sure it's in there securely. We're going to do the same to the other side again. On the crimp. Tug test. If the wires do not come out with a simple tug, then you have properly secured them with the crimps. Now that they're installed, we can zip tie them together. Make sure you cut the excess zip tie. Now that we have all the wires connected and the wires zip tied together, we can now finally connect the power. Power is going to be up here in this white clip. Now that your board is completely installed, we can then test to make sure that the light's turned on, letting you know that the board was properly installed. Now we can check to make sure that the unit's light turns on. The temperature changes from Celsius to Fahrenheit. The temperature lowers. And the temperature rises. Now that we know it does, we can install the back panel. Make sure the back panel aligns with the screw holes. And that's how we change the PC board on an AW210.